In this video, I will be showing you how you can set up large CCTV camera networks. It involves merging multiple AHD and IP camera installations into one large CCTV camera network that can be viewed on a single monitor and also recorded as one unit. But the question is, what do you require to be able to set up this kind of large CCTV camera networks. Apart from the camera setups that can be as many complete AHD and IP camera setups that are ready to be put together as one installation, you will need a router. You also need a computer which can either be a laptop or a desktop computer with a VMS software installed on it. Here is a complete four camera AHD camera setup. You can see the camera terminal having a BNC connector, which is an indication that these cameras are AHD cameras. They are connected through this four channel DVR and it is shown on this screen right here. So this is a complete standalone AHD camera setup. Here is also an IP camera setup. You can see the Ethernet connections of the cameras. The cameras are connected through this PoE switch and they are shown on this monitor. So this is also a complete IP camera setup. You can have many more of these standalone networks, but we will use just these two networks for the sake of our training or our demonstration. Our target in this video is to put together these separate networks together as one network or one large network. The process I'm about to show works for any number of networks that you wish to put together but I will use these two networks for the demonstration. Here is my router. What I need to do now is to connect a network cable from each of the standalone networks into the router in order to have the two complete installations placed in the same local area network. So let me first power up the router. Now that the router is on, I will connect a cable that is a network cable on one of the LAN ports of the router and plug into the DVR of the first network. I will again plug a cable on another LAN port on the router and plug into the second network. The next connection I will do is to also connect my computer to the router. So I will place my network cable into my computer. And also plug it into the router. What all these connections mean is that the AHD network, the IP camera network, and the computer are now in the same local area network. And what that means also is that they can communicate among themselves. And so with the help of a VMS or a video management software that I have installed on my computer, I'll be able to assess both the AHD and IP cameras together as one network. So let's get started. This is the desktop of my computer and this is the icon of the VMS that I have downloaded and installed on my computer. I have made an earlier video on how you can download and install this free software on your computer for the management of your cameras and I have placed a link to that video in the description of this video for your guidance. So I will launch my VMS 
and then I'll input my login details. I'm now on the main interface of the VMS now. I'll open device management. Here you can see all the devices connected to the router or the local area network. The first one here is an IP camera. The second one here too is also an IP camera. And you can see that the fit item here is the DVR. You can see the four channels of the DVR indicated here. Because we are combining IP cameras and AHD cameras as one big network, we will have to create a group and put all the cameras into that one group so that we can assess all of them as one group. So I'll go to the group tab here and create a new group. I'll give it a name. I'll name it CCTV Network. And add. Here is the group I have created. I'll go back to device and add my cameras to the group created. I will select all the devices here and then add to management. I will choose add to group and then select the group name and finally click OK. You can see here that device number one up to device number four are IP cameras, whilst the fit device is a DVR with four camera channels, as we already know. When you go back to the group page, you will see all the cameras listed, including the AHD cameras. Let's go back and assess the live preview. So we will choose live preview and select group name of our project, which is CCTV Networks. We'll double click at it to load it up. So we have the first four cameras. You can come down here to select a custom split screen. You can select the split screen based on the number of cameras you have connected to the system. So let's choose nine split screens. We still have just the four IP cameras, which are the ones we have at the top here. So you have to click any of the windows, that is the blank windows, and select the next camera you wish to display. And then you need to do the same for the sixth camera, the seventh camera as well, and finally, the eighth camera. So we finally have all eight cameras, both the IP and AHD cameras all together, which is our target for this video. This is a method that is not limited to just two camera networks. You can connect many networks together using this same method. I hope this video gives you adequate information when it comes to linking multiple camera networks together. If you have any questions on this video, please drop it in the comment section and I'll do well to answer. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much.